Okay, so I've decided that it's time for a craft room tour. So let's get started and go in and see how I organize my craft room. I have been working pretty hard on it. I did a lot yesterday. So as you enter, now this is not just a craft room. It is also shared with my husband, Mr. Walker, and about probably, I don't know, less than six months ago, he acquired a 3D printer. So I'm sharing this room with him so he can do his 3D printing. So as you enter the room, to the right, you have his 3D printer, and you have our laser jet. It's just a black and white laser jet. And then you see a vase there that he just made or just printed. And then it is sitting on top of, let me back up so you can see all of it. It is sitting on top of a lateral file cabinet. So in this file cabinet, I'm not going to go through everything in the drawers, but uh, the top drawer has personal items like, you know, home files. The second drawer I have arranged to hold. There's my, there's my helper right there in the background. Um, I have arranged to hold labels, plastic envelopes, um, dividers for binders, binders, notebooks, sketch pads, uh, lined pads, legal pads, uh, notebook paper, cardstock folders, that type of thing. So that's what's in the second drawer. And then the third drawer just houses a bunch of miscellaneous craft items. Um, for example, things to paint with, foam, um, glitter, clothespins, chicken wire, uh, different types of paints, paint brushes, um, shaving cream, <laughs> and that black pouch right here holds um, nail polish. Then if we keep moving, sorry if I make you dizzy, if we keep moving around the room, we come to a desk, a big corner desk. This desk I've had since I was a child. And so on top we just have uh, memorabilia, pictures, things like that. And then I have books that I've been collecting and personal items. And then on the second shelf, kind of more of the same thing. And then on the desk itself, I have trays for incoming items. I have some empty containers. I have my um, my brother label maker, which I absolutely love. I would highly recommend it. And then I have some stuff I want to scan in. And then I have specialty papers in this file box. And if we keep coming around, we come to the items that I have made, including hand dyed paper and tags and journals and so forth and then if we keep coming around if we keep coming around we come to my shipping station for my Etsy shop and so here I just have um, a holder excuse me sorry about that I have a holder for thank you notes uh, tissue paper bubble wrap envelopes all that type of thing and then it all that and I have a long arm stapler the house that I house here because it's a good place to put it. Oops, <laughs> something just fell off of it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to make you dizzy. I had to pick that up. Okay, so um, in this top drawer, I have more shipping items, paper clips, that type of thing. And then in the next drawer, I have uh, I have organized all of my magazine um, clippings into different categories floral food flip outs vintage and then i have behind that i have organized all of my sewing patterns that i've either found in magazines or i have printed off from the internet and then the bottom drawer is empty right now so i have room to grow or put other things um, let me go back to the desk and show you the drawers. The drawers just have, this one just has like all kinds of different small labels. 
I have a whole lot of friction pins. I got it at a really cheap price, and I really like those for marking things because I can erase. And then this drawer just holds small electronics. And then this big drawer at the bottom, or this middle drawer, holds office supplies. Just miscellaneous office supplies. Okay, so then if we keep coming around to the left of the shipping station, let me back up so I can show you. I have a vintage drafting table that I use for um, gathering and packaging the things that I ship. And uh, so I have a nice big mat here. And then I have a ironing board beside it or on top of it. This is a board that I made um, so I could have a smaller space to iron and not have to have an ironing board set up all the time. So it kind of doubles as a workspace and an ironing space. And so at the back of that, I have my um, starch, I have my iron, I have twine and uh, some miscellaneous things behind that. And then I have some more twine that I have set on top of a vintage oil can so it's handy and then I have a cup here um, with some you know like remnants of ribbon that I wrapped around popsicle sticks okay so then if we go above the drafting table I have a shelf up here and um, attached to that shelf or the bracket for the shelf is a curtain rod and on that curtain rod I just kind of have some miscellaneous items on the right here hanging from s hooks borders buttons you know dollar tree uh wall decals that type of thing and then um i rearranged my ribbon and i ended up doing this with most of my ribbon um they're just on shower rings with yarn and then uh i just recycled food boxes and wrapped my ribbon around the food boxes and then hung them here and they're very easy to get to they just um, come right off like this and then I can get to the ribbon and then I can just put it back on like that okay and then right below the ribbon I have more ribbon <laughs> um, I saw this idea on YouTube so I uh, made one myself, so I have some ribbon here, some that's an open, some skinny ribbon, some twine, and some more twine down there. And then I used an old clipboard I found at a thrift store, and I uh, arranged zippers on it. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I think they look cool because they're really pretty and colorful. So um, hopefully I can find something to do with those in the future. And so then if we go above, on actually on top of the shelf, um, I have old milk glass here with some pretty fat quarters, some pins. Um, that pin money is a piggy bank that I acquired at a flea market. I really like that. Then I have some ribbon, some eyelash trim. I have some more trim in this magazine holder. This is a, a vintage... Uh, coffee maker and I have ribbon and or I have trim in there and then I have my buttons over here so that is what is above the drafting table okay so if we keep moving over on the wall I just have a holder here for some quilting rulers and then I have um, a small pegboard that holds my thread and then we come down to my vintage sewing machine. Um, I believe it's like 1940s, early 50s. So I just have items here, you know, to sew with pens, scissors, markers, that type of thing. So and then it um, it folds out. The sewing machine is in the cabinet, so the cabinet folds out. And so under that cabinet, I have um, this accordion file where I have filed my book pages that have been torn out and then at the bottom I just have a plastic container that has um, all of the like accessories for the vintage sewing machine okay so if we come back up 
we're coming we're going to the left here uh, I have a win a nice window here to look outside in the backyard so I can see the dogs when they're out there and I just have a few items in the window uh, I put my summer journal there just to get it out of the way I have some vintage thread a cute little cup I found in a flea market and uh, another milk glass piece that I just kind of throw some things in and then here is my vintage sewing machine I have it covered up so it doesn't get dusty because I haven't been using it as much as I'd like because it's been covered up with stuff um, but now it's not so now I will be able to use this and hopefully get some more sewing done um, in the future near future um, it does have four drawers and in those drawers I just have tools and cleaning supplies basically nothing really special okay so if we keep coming to the left of the window um, since this, this uh, vintage sewing machine does fold out I can set my new sewing my newer sewing machine on here and this sewing machine I use just for paper so um, I don't use it you know like at long stretches at a time usually so I have that here and then above that I just have some decoration and a clock and then I have my my window here sorry the light won't adjust uh, with those pom-poms from the Dollar Tree so that's what's above this sewing machine and then this is my uh, 3d printed phone stand right here that my husband made for me and then below the sewing machine I have a, um, a bookshelf and <clears throat> on this bookshelf I just rearranged all of this stuff I have my cuddle bug with embossing folders and behind that are my die cuts um, I have bits and pieces in these right here I love these um, let me I'm gonna set them down over here on my desk I bought I bought these right here at the Dollar Tree and when I just have like a little bit of um, like twine left over from a project or little bitty pieces of fabric or ribbon I will stick it in these um, so they're handy and they also are stackable so I like that and then I have some more in this little thing right here I got this at a garage sale I like these two these are really cute so I just have this handy right here oops sorry didn't make me didn't mean to turn so fast um, I have that handy right here to my right I have some rubber bands I have my scrap packs that I made of my scraps of paper. I have clusters that need to be finished and some templates there. And then below that, I have some lace uh, seam tape, rick rack and piping seam or bias tape. In that red container here, I have charm squares, I have <clears throat> jewelry pieces. I have scrap fabric in this turquoise container. I have one inch narrow, really narrow one inch size uh, fabric scraps. And then in this red container, I have um, little bitty squares and triangles that I bought at a flea market that um, somebody had cut out for a quilt. So I put them in here. Let's see if I can get this. and some hexies too so I have that in there and then I have some um, some really small pieces on top that fit really nice. this was a ribbon container that I got at um, Michael's a long time ago and so that stuff fits really nicely in there and then um, my sewing ma machine pedal is down here and I saw on Pinterest this past week where you can put a rubber band around it to keep it from sliding around. So I ended up doing that um, and I really like the way that has worked out. So there's that. So if we keep coming to the left, I'm going to go back up again. Um, over here I have a wicker basket wall holder and it holds my um, one, two, three punch board and my cutting um, trimmers and my scoreboard. 
And then below that, I have a piece of artwork that a student of mine gave me back when I taught high school, probably about 10 years ago. Uh, a student gave me that, so I hung that up. And then if we turn to the next wall to the left, um, at the bottom you will see a basket full of wrapping paper, contact paper, cellophane, all of that kind of stuff. And then on the wall behind it, I have put a command hook with some bulldog clips and I have clipped up my uh, poster board that I take pictures on as a backdrop when I'm taking pictures, real handy. And then I have some more cutting mats, some foam board and another piece of poster board and a big grid post-it paper thing back there. And then I have a verse up above it. Actually, it is covering the um, circuit breaker. So I had I did that to cover the circuit breaker up and put something nice and pretty up there. Okay, so if we keep coming to the left, sorry, it's kind of dark in here. We're having a well, the sun's shining right now, but we've had a really gloomy day. Um, but this should be lit up pretty well because I have a nice shop light above my desk and um so it lights up my desk pretty well for photos and such okay so i'm going to go back up and show you the top first so up here i have um a big magazine holder full of stickers i have smaller pieces that i have dyed like um small pieces of paper in coffee filters and things like that um I've had book pages in here. These are like really small book pages. Then I have a container up here of jewelry that hasn't been taken apart yet. In that handle, my husband 3D printed that for me so I could get it off of here really easily. There's some paper uh, rolls from Hobby Lobby. And then he just recently put this board up for me. Um, I wish the light there. Maybe the light will adjust put this board up for me to, to uh, attach my camera mount on because if I had, when I was putting it here, then it was bumping up against the light and making the light swing. So he put a board up for me. That's such a good hubby. Mr. Walker is such a good hubby. Um, he put a board up for me so it wouldn't hit the, the light. And then if you keep going to the left, I have a container here of post-it notes and notes, and I have flat cards. And then in these containers, I have fabric that's been cut down to certain sizes, 7 inch, 5 inch, 3 and a half inch, 2 and a half inch, uh, and each in their own containers. I did this back before I really started junk journaling um, because I was doing some quilting and, and things like that and thought it would be great to have fabric, you know, cut down to certain sizes common sizes already okay so i'm going to come down towards my desk where i do all the work and filming and picture taking and all that and here i just have a um it's like one of those garden flags on the wall hung up with a pant hanger and then if i come over here i have a um a, pl a plate shelf and i have a plate on there and then i have a postcard of a previous business design logo and everything but the plate i use when i'm working with small stuff like jewelry beads small ephemera that type of thing i'll take it down and put it on my desk and then if we come down this way towards the desk i have this shelf unit and then over here i have another one and these are actually drawers that I found in a uh, vintage market and we just put them you know turned them upwards and I painted them this blue color so in these drawers it's really nice to hold the small stuff like my my glues and water and that type of, type of thing on top and then I have just miscellaneous stuff uh, things that my husband has made for me washi tape um, jar of binder rings these little containers right here I got from the Dollar Tree and um, they just hold some small ephemera things and then I have paint and miscellaneous things here and I have a lamp here 
And then I have a, a cut glass bowl that I keep things in that are small that I might be working on. In the lamp, I have my um, my speaker for my phone. Then I just have some things. I always have something on my desk. My desk is hardly ever just cleared off. <clears throat> and then I have this. Uh, this is a piece of flannel backed tablecloth that I got at Hobby Lobby. I just had had it cut to the size I needed and uh, to cover this desk to protect it. And then I also have a plastic mat on top. This is just a, I got this at the Salvation Army. It's just one of those dough mats that you can get. It's not one of those fancy craft mats or anything. It works just fine. So I have that. And so here is the other blue shelf. And on it I have my, uh, my wooden stamps, my acrylic blocks for my polymer stamps. And then down here I have my... Uh, Glimmer mist, I have some carpet tape, a sanding sponge, a flashlight, just some miscellaneous stuff. And then in the middle, I have um, stuff that I reach for quite often, and I love the way this is set up. I have these baskets. <clears throat> I have seen May May, May May made it, talk about these baskets. I think she has them in her shop. But I, my husband got these baskets at a local dollar store, and I absolutely love them. I had another one over on my um, sewing desk, uh, vintage sewing desk, too, for, for items. But this is great. I have every all of my tools and everything right here handy that I need. You know, punches, scissors, uh, brayers. Um, I, don't, I didn't go buy any fancy type of brayers. This right here, I got at the Dollar Tree, okay? Uh, and it works just fine. So this come from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you what it looks like at the Dollar Tree. It looks like this at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So this is in the like the beauty aisle, the you know personal health aisle, uh, bathroom aisle, whatever. And so it comes with this rubber because it's a massage massage roller. Let's see if you get it to focus. Anyway, um, it comes like this with this with this knobby thing on it, and you can just cut that off, and then you have a nice flat surface um, to you know break to um, spread you know mash things down or whatever you want to do with it. So that has that, and then over in this other one, I have scrapers, I have sharpies, I have a rotary cutter, I have a tear ruler, ruler brush drafting brush, little paint brushes, so forth. Okay, so that's basically what the top of my desk looks like. And then if we look at the, it's going to be kind of dark, and I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can get the light to adjust. Um, I, have, <clears throat> I have four drawers on the left, and then I have four drawers on the right, and I have a middle drawer. And these drawers just hold miscellaneous things. Like on the left, I have thread and things like that that I could use in junk journals. I have um, my binding tools. I don't know if we're going to be able to see in here. So this is just miscellaneous threads, embroidery threads, things that could be used in junk journals. This drawer, I have threads that could be used for binding, paper clip, the big paper clips, and needles, and elastics this drawer is my adhesive and this drawer is like jewelry findings and beads and jewelry making tools okay then if we come over here to the right here i have journaling cards and small ephemera and these are these were my dad's he was a TV repairman, electronics repairman. So, um, there we go. So, um, I acquired these from him, and so I put small ephemera in those. They work really well. Here I have all my inks and ink brushes and stamping tools. Here I just have some other small things like bling and some other small pieces that I've made uh, paper 
And then at the very bottom, I have chipboard pieces and I have flowers. And then in the middle drawer, I just have like office type stuff. So I have notepads, pens, gel pens, and um, you know, like the the um, instruction for my label maker and like sizes of envelopes and things like that. Okay, so that's my desk. So if we keep moving to the left, at the top here, um, I just did this, and I think I'm going to be really happy with it. Um, my my fabric was down there below my sewing machine, but <laughs> I could not get to the bottom shelf. So it was really uh, aggravating that I couldn't see all my fabric, or I could. It was really hard for me to get to all my fabric. So I acquired the shelf off of Facebook. I cleaned it up. I painted the top. And so now it houses most of my fabric. Um, my hubby is in the process of making me bookends from on the 3D printer. You can see one right there uh, to hold the fabric upright on the top shelf. But then I have a little bit of room to grow on the bottom. And then up here at the top, this hoop on the right is the very first embroidery I ever did when I was a kid. And then that's just a piece of a quilt that I found in a flea market in that second hoop. And then this big third hoop is a quilt block that my great great my great grandmother uh, pieced together. So I put it in a hoop. And if we come down this corner here, um, I have a, I have a dress form with an apron uh, on it that I made. And behind it, I just have some fabric. I have a square ruler. I have my little step stool. And then to the right of the dress form, I have a locker holder or stand. And on top of that locker stand, I have all of my calendars for junk journals and some note cards. And then on the floor, I have some more paint and paint brushes and miscellaneous things down there. And then in between or below the fabric and in between that and the desk, I have another bookcase. And on this bookcase, I have some recipe cards in this red container. I have some miscellaneous things in this magazine holder right here. Um, this book right here is my all my small pieces of um, things that I have cut out of magazines or um, books. So what I did with this is I just took a old photo holder and I just put things in here and I kind of categorized them into, um, you know, certain things like all these are like small strips and then I have words and then I have um, florals and I have people, vintage, that type of thing. So that goes over here. And then in this binder, I have all my stencil and mark uh, making things, stencils. And then um, this is another vase that my husband just made for uh, my mom. We're going to take that to her. Her birthday was in June, so um, we're going to take that to her for 4th of July. And so next to the stencil uh, binder is these are all of my stamps polymer stamps and i just have them in sleeves in this box and then i have my tape runner i have my crocodile then i have my paper towel okay and so the next shelf on this bookshelf i have um recipe cards and other types of cards for junk journals I have tags in this. I have more tags in that striped box. I have uh, green stamps in that Ziploc bag. I have flashcards. I have vintage ephemera. And then the next shelf, I just have some miscellaneous papers, cardstock, miscellaneous papers next to that. And then on the bottom shelf, I have bookmarks and paint samples. I have strip paper, I have a bunch of different types of playing cards, I have 6x6 six six paper and 4x6 paper, and then I have all kinds of greeting cards 
in that container. So then if we come back up and we come back around to the left, um, above the dress form, I have a um, little shelf here that I have things hanging off of. This right here I take with me if I go to a crafting uh, get-together or whatever. It's actually a um, personal hygiene type of thing to hold, you know, like shampoo and stuff like that, but I use it for crafting. And then I have uh, an apron of my great-grandmother's in an old... <laughs> heart that I uh, I made whenever I was little and then on this shelf I have colored pencils markers I have uh, crafting scissors and then in this drawer I have all of my alcohol markers so I can just take this whole drawer out all this this whole drawer out and take it to my desk and pick out what what markers I want to use. So there's that. Okay, so then if we keep coming to the left, we come to my closet. And on the closet door, I have a shoe organizer. And in the shoe organizer, I just have a bunch of different things. I have cupcake liners, some stamps, some bottles, some glue sticks. I have different, I have some dry paints. I have some um, punches, all kinds of punches. I have elastics. I have more types of punches. I have my little Xyron sticker maker. I have tool. I have cheesecloth. I have adhes dry adhesives, tapes. I have crepe paper. I have coffee filters. And I have other types of tapes. So that is what I have on the back of the closet door. I'm going to attempt to go into the closet. I don't know how well the lighting's going to be. So we'll see how this goes. Um, in this closet, I have got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I was very grateful that when I moved into this, this is a duplex. It's only about 750 square feet but it has really nice closets in it. So I was so grateful that it had some good closets in it. So if we walk into the closet, to the left, I have one of these huge, um, well, I think it's a four foot metal, industrial metal shelving unit. It came from Walmart. I think it's the Hyper Tough brand and I would highly recommend it. I'll try to link it below um, in the description box, but it has been a really, really good shelf so far. Um, so on this shelf, I have some more fabric. Um, some of it too tall to go out there. Some of it I don't think I would be pulling from very often. And then I have some miscellaneous things sitting on top of it right now. I have a bo uh, vintage box of old zippers. And then I have some strips inside this vintage jar. Okay. And then if we come to the second shelf, I have the uh, art bin or... Um, you know, the boxes you get from Michael's. I have these. So I have these um, with different things in them. This top one is tissue paper. I have doilies in this one. I have uh, paper bags in this one. And then I have some quilt pieces, pieces that have already been pieced together uh, in this one. And then I have some books that I've acquired. And then I have some music books and art books in this bin. So it's going to be kind of up close because this, this is pretty tight. But I'm going to try to do this I can. And then in these bins right here, these are all clothes that I have cut up. This bin right here is just um, like uh, printed things like, you know, printed calendars and aprons and dish towels and stuff like that. And then in this I have um, little notebooks and writing things in there and then in this tote right here I have all my plastic bags and then in this tote right here I have things I've pulled out of magazines or think or packaging that can be recycled and then on the bottom shelf I have a lot of my uh, books that I have acquired so I have a lot of books down there okay and so then if we come back up the top here, I have a lot of patterns. 
Um, I have a box here of UFOs, unfinished product, uh, or unfinished projects. And then I have some more books. I have some more patterns. I have uh, some book covers that I'm probably going to be listing pretty soon. I have some envelopes. I have my sewing machine carrier. I have some miscellaneous items. Um, I have books that I look at to get ideas and inspiration. I have just some more miscellaneous items. I have containers in these boxes, different types of containers. Uh, like jewelry boxes and metal cans and stuff like that for any type of project I might want to do, uh, you know, upcycling. And then I have all of these upholstery sample books that I just, most of them I just acquired from the store that I sell some of my journals in. So I have those. And then on top of those, I just have some empty boxes. Okay, and so um, then if we come back down, I have some fabric, more fabric samples on hangers. I have bigger pieces of fabric of hangers and some personal items at the back. And then on this container, I have paper napkins. You can read embroidery, um, crochet doilies. I have lace. I have some lace here I need to put on to wind around, you know, some chipboard. I have some recycled clothing, I have some more envelopes, and then here I have a box full of food packaging that I use for various things. I have empty containers in this blue tote, purple tote is personal items, and then I have like an old ironing board and some hoops in there, in between that, or next to that, sorry. And then I have some more upholstery samples here at the bottom that have already been pulled out of the books. Okay. And then I have another one of those wire shelving units over here, but a smaller one. And on top of it, I have all of my scrapbooking paper in this big tote right here. And then next to it, I just have some miscellaneous uh, vintage ephemera. Some big, those big art books that won't fit in the tote over there, big ledger that won't fit, um, that type of thing. And then below that, I do have some more vintage books. And at the bottom shelf, some more of the same. And then on the floor below those books, I have some, um, some paper that's still, there's like eight and a half, I think it's eight and a half by 11 paper and then if we're looking towards the back of the closet right below the books there i have four bins uh fabric bins and i have uh i just have some remnants and i have some of my dad's old shirts in this bin i have sheer and satin fabrics in this bin i have pillowcases in this bin and then I have what I call blanks or just plain like towels, plain pillowcases, you know, nothing on them uh, in this bin. Okay. And then on the very bottom on the floor, I have paint that I don't want out in the garage. And then I do have some things shoved in <laughs> next to these bins. I have some collect or some makeup bags. I have some um, holiday fabric. I have some more vintage items and some of those uh, drawer sachets. I have some craft envelopes. Okay, and then if we come back around towards the big shelf, here I have some clothing that I'm going to cut up. I have some quilt tops. I have some sheets, some more pieces of fabric, placemats, um, bags. This is just the best way for me to hang up bags. Um, I have a big bag of tool. And then below that is just a mess. I have uh, batting, I have paper sacks, I have Christmas wrapping paper, that type of thing. So I think that's all of the closet. So I'm going to back out and then I'm going to close the door and turn out the light. <laughs> okay, so then we come around to um, my husband's desk and we have our nice, 
um, laser jet scanner. Uh, this is the uh, Epson 70, yeah, 7720, Workforce 7720. I love this printer. It prints edge to edge. It prints large format. It is a really, really nice printer. I'd highly recommend it. And the scanning is great on it as well. And then if we come, keep coming around, we have some photos of um, that photo of the roses. When I took way back in the day when there was no digital. <laughs> and then I had, there's a, a photo that my husband took and then some other things. And that's his shelf of 3D prints. And then this is just our, you know, our desk where I do the computer work and, and that type of thing. Okay, and then the one thing I didn't show you before we get back to the door is, um, well, there's my doggy. He's asleep. He sleeps under there. He likes to sleep under things. Um, is that I do have the cart for Michaels and I have just things that need to be worked on um, or things that I've thrown in there, like scraps and things like that and clips and so forth. So, oh. I didn't show you underneath the drafting table. I do have a roll of paper and I have some containers that I use um, like in the car and things like that. And then I also have, or actually this white container I use in the car. And then I have, hold on. I have a, a cutlery tray, you know, like you would put in your drawer in the kitchen. Um, I use this when I am compiling things for a project or a journal. So I put my, you can put your um, your papers, you can line them up in here, different sizes, and they will stand up, and then you can put all your little small items over here. So that's what that's how I like to organize papers and stuff that I, um, I use when I'm working on a journal. String. <laughs> And then um, next to the shipping station and the uh, drafting table, I do have a spray box and then I have my guillotine. So I'm going to come back around to the front door. And then the last thing that I did not show you um, was the back of the door. Uh, this door, I do have another shoe organizer. And this is all like fabric related, sewing related items. So I have yarn. I have Heat and bond, interfacing, uh, insole bright. Um, I also have molds to like do your own candles or wax melts, bamboo sticks, and then just miscellaneous sewing items. So that's what is on the back of this door. And then I have a, um, I do have a uh, bulletin board behind here, but we're going to be, we're going to be taking this down. So my husband can have a shelf uh, above here for his lamp so he can see his 3D printing better. But um, right now we just have a bulletin board. I have just miscellaneous things stuck up there. So that is the craft room. I'll just pan back around. Um, this has been a long time in the making. I have pieced this together. I know it's not your typical... Um, like Ikea put together type of room but I like it and it works for me and I'm very grateful to have it especially in a rental and um, if you have any questions about anything you saw any of the products just just ask me uh, in the comments if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see uh, something more in detail of how I organize things just let me know and I'll be glad to to show you. Um, so uh, I hope y'all all have a great day. God bless and I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, let me turn the fan off so you can hear me better. Um, there were some things that I forgot to show you in the craft room video. So um, I guess I just got excited uh, for the next thing and forgot to show you this. But anyway, below my uh, tool uh, baskets, I do have the, um, I do believe, 
I do not remember what this brand is, but I know normally they're really expensive, but I got them at a discount store, so um, uh, I didn't. I only paid like $2 each for them, but they're these uh, bins that flip out like this, and in one of them I have eyeshadow and sponges, because sometimes I distress with eyeshadow, and then in this one I have washi tape, in this one I have washi tape, and in this one I have lace and like trim bits that I work with sometimes. So that's uh, one of the things that I missed. And then I'm going to go over onto the side of the, the, to the right side of the desk and I did miss um, this right here. Um, I have my trash can, but I also have command hooks on the side of my desk for my glue gun and for my heat gun so i do have that on the side of the desk and then below my desk i have a christmas uh, popcorn tin and since it's round it's perfect to put uh like uh, rolled up paper and uh, wallpaper borders in it and then i have a little brush and dustpan on top of it and then next to it i have um I have a sonic container with uh, recycled paper, you know, like if I need something to stamp off on or um, glue on or whatever, then I have that. And then I have um, all of my um, baby wipes that I use when I'm, you know, working with inks and paints. I say, dry those and save those. And then I also have some magazines for like stamping off and, and doing like stuff like that with. So. I just wanted to show you those three things because I forgot to show you um, those in the video. So uh, again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like and comment and subscribe. And I will talk to you later.